It was a chilly morning on the island, and Bertie the bus was racing along the road beside Thomas's branch line. He was running late as his engine wouldn't start due to the cold weather, so he was hurrying to make up for lost time. As he rounded the bend, he came up behind Trevor, who was travelling his usual slow speed. Oh, come on, Trevor! Hurry up! I need to get past! Sorry, Bertie, but you should know by now this is as fast as I can go. Anyway, I'm not sure this is the safest place to overtake. But Bertie wasn't listening. He was too busy thinking about being late, so he decided to overtake Trevor. Oh no! Elizabeth! Ooh. Ah. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Ow! Oh, bumpers and brake lines. Humph! Serves you right. I hate to think what your passengers thought of that. Next time, look before you overtake, you silly bus. Miraculously, neither Bertie's passengers nor his driver had been injured, but they were all shaken up. As for the bus himself, he'd burst a tyre and shattered his headlights. Oh, Bertie, are you okay? I think so. Just a bit battered is all. I'm sorry for shouting at you back there. That's all right. I know you were just trying to be on time. I'll go on and get help as quickly as I can. Thank you, Trevor. <sighs> this could be a while. Eventually, Butch arrived to tow Bertie back onto the road. Now don't you worry, Bertie. We'll have you out of there in no time, and then we'll get you to the works so you can be repaired. Thank you, Butch. I feel terrible. I never should have tried to overtake like that. I just wasn't thinking. It happens to the best of us, Bertie. The main thing is no one got hurt. Except you, of course. Almost there. There we go. Come on then, off to the works with you. When they reached the works, Bertie's manager and the fat controller were waiting for them, along with the workmen who were going to repair Bertie. Bertie, I must say I'm a little disappointed in you. I thought you'd know by now how and when to overtake safely. I'm sorry, sir. I just didn't want to be late. I understand, but I would rather you be late than harm your passengers. I quite agree. Being on time is important, but being safe is even more so. What I can't understand is why it took so long for you to stop. I know you were going downhill, but you still should have stopped before that wall. Excuse me, sir, but I think I found the answer to that. My word, your tyres are bald, Bertie. All four of them. When was Bertie last serviced? Well, uh, let's see. I've been driving him for about 15 years now, and... Oh, I've never taken him for a service. In 15 years? Good heavens! Don't you know vehicles are supposed to have a full service and MOT every single year? How could you not even check his tyres? I... I don't know. I'd never been told to. I... Never been told to? Rubbish. It's common sense to inspect your vehicle before you start a journey to ensure it's in safe, roadworthy condition. Especially so for a bus carrying innocent passengers. Suppose one of them got injured, or worse, due to your negligence. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. You should be suspended for six months without pay. I suggest you use that time to update your knowledge on vehicular road safety. As you wish, sir. Bertie, I'm sorry for putting you through this. I hope your replacement driver takes better care of you than I did. I promise, when I come back, I'll be a much better driver for you. Thank you, sir. And I'm sorry too. I'll miss you while you're away. I'll miss you too, Bertie. Goodbye. Goodbye. I can't apologise enough for inconveniencing your railway like this, sir. Oh, don't worry. At least the issue has been resolved. Although this does concern me somewhat, I can't recall any of the road vehicles being brought in for a tyre change. So what are you going to do? I'll order in a large supply of tyres and arrange for everyone to come here and have theirs changed. We will take this incident and learn from it to ensure it doesn't happen again. So that's just what the fast controller did. In a few days time, tyres aplenty arrived at the docks. 
a fat controller had selected Percy to deliver them to the works. The little green engine was less than thrilled. Why me? Why do I have to do this job? Because the fat controller told us to, Percy. But he also told me I was to take the milk for Toby while he goes to the quarry. But he suddenly gave that job to Rosie. Why couldn't she collect these trucks instead? Jobs change around all the time, Percy. He probably thinks you're better suited for this job. Anyway, orders are orders. Let's get going. When Percy arrived, he found Bertie undergoing his MOT. Hello Bertie, what are you doing here? I had a bit of an accident the other day, Percy. I burst one of my tyres, which was probably for the best since they were all bald anyway. Oh, that's bad luck. You know, I've got tyres too. You do? Where? Same place yours are, around my wheels. They help to protect my wheels from wearing away and reduce how often they need replacing. Wow, that's quite clever. It is. We engines never have trouble with our tyres, like road vehicles do. Oh, I see. Well, I must be off. I've got to get back to the branch line. Hope to see you there soon. Goodbye. Bye. Although he hadn't meant to, Percy had hurt Bertie's feelings with his remark about tyres. Throughout the rest of the week, many of the road vehicles had had their tyres changed and their service and MOTs brought up to date. All of the old tyres were loaded into trucks and needed to be taken to the docks to be sent away. To his dismay, Percy was sent to collect them. I delivered these tyres in the first place. Why am I the one to collect them? Why are you always grumbling about collecting and delivering tyres? It's not that bad a job, is it? It's boring. I'd rather do something more important. We can only do as we're told, Percy. Now come on, the sooner we get going, the sooner we can finish. Wait! Aren't I at least going to turn around first? We haven't got the time to. We're late enough already. But I hate pushing trucks. I can't see where I'm going. Well, you just have to put up with it. Now come on. But Percy didn't want to put up with it. He was very cross indeed. The trucks could sense this, and as Percy puffed along, they started chattering to each other. <laughs> the green caterpillar's in a bad mood, isn't he? I agree. What's he going to complain about? We're the ones carrying these old tires. I say we cheer him up. How do we do that? Easy. We'll help him get the job done as fast as possible, if you get my meaning. I like your thinking. Percy was too busy grumbling to himself to hear the trucks and knew nothing of their plan. As he crossed the viaduct, Spencer came racing past in the opposite direction. Dear oh dear, Percy. I'd have thought you'd be doing something more important than pushing trucks by now. Spencer's remark made Percy grow even crosser. So much so, he lost all concentration, which was just what the trucks wanted. Ready? And... Go! Huh? Oh, oh no! Faster! Faster! faster. No! Slower! Slower! We'll, we'll get, get this job, job done fast! fast. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop, stop! Percy sped past the signal box so quickly, the signalman didn't have time to set the signal to danger. Ahead was Napa Junction, where Stanley was waiting for a signal of his own. Percy saw him and whistled frantically. The guard heard the whistle and warned Stanley's crew of the impending collision. They got away just in time. Percy, are you alright? What happened? I think so. I'm sorry, Stanley. The trucks pulled me down the hill. At that moment, Thomas arrived to collect his passengers. Oh, Percy, are you okay? Might I say you look a little tired? Oh, be quiet, Thomas. This is no laughing matter. No, it is not. <gasps> oh, no. Uh-oh. Now you're wheelie in trouble. Percy, how many years have you been working on my railway? Um, I don't know exactly, sir, but it has been a long time, sir. Exactly. I'd have thought your dates of having accidents with trucks were over. I thought you'd have learned to control them by now. 
Yes, sir. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. We must get this place cleared up immediately. Sir, my track is blocked. How am I going to deliver the rest of my passengers? I can help with that. Bertie! Bertie, I thought you were being repaired. I was, and now I'm back and better than ever. New tyres and a full service and MOT. I'm road legal again. Well, in that case, you'll need to take Thomas's passengers for him. Be quick now. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. As for you, Thomas, can you fetch the breakdown train? Of course I can, sir. Thank you. Hmm. What's this? Hmm. Looks like... It is! It's one of Percy's tyres! It must have sheared off in the crash! Well, would you look at that! Looks like engines can also lose a tyre, eh, Percy? Percy said nothing, and instead looked at his buffers. Percy was soon rescued and taken to the works. Two days later, Percy was repaired. Just as he was about to leave, Bertie arrived to see him. Hi Percy, how are you feeling? Well, I'm all fixed up, but I still feel silly for my accident. I'm sorry for what I said to you last week. That's okay, I'm sorry too. I saw a chance to get back at you, but I shouldn't have taken it. You know, we're not so different, you and I. Both having an accident, and both will have in trouble with our tyres. Haha, <laughs> I guess you're right. Can we be friends again? Of course we can. We never weren't in the first place. Now, come on, back to the branch line. We've got work to do. <laughs> <laughs>